More proverbial shots were fired in the fast and furious spin-off feud between Therese Gibson and Dwayne Johnson today, with Therese Gibson revealing that he thinks The Rock is being selfish because the spin-off was moved forward, while Universal pushed the Fast and Furious 9 release date by a full year to 2020 to make room for the spin-off. Here's what Therese Gibson had to say, clarifying that he's not mad The Rock actually got a spin-off but because it caused the Fast and Furious 9 release date to be pushed. I don't know what they're doing. Everybody's coming at me, like I'm hating on Dwayne for his spin-off. I'm not. I just wish he was releasing it at a different time. It's not a conflict, but Fast and Furious is like a holiday. Fast and Furious family, the fans, the tribe, the people who have been rocking with us for 16 years, you know, pushing our release date back. It's only happened one time in the history of Fast and Furious, when we lost our brother Paul Walker. So, what's the reason we're pushing the release date back now? I've just got a problem with Dwayne, it appears that he's being selfish. It appears that he's so focused on furthering his own self-interests, that he's making decisions from the seat that he's sitting in. Fast and the Furious 9 isn't coming out until 2020. It's F.D. up. The currently untitled Fast and Furious spin-off was announced in April, not long after the eighth franchise installment, The Fate of the Furious Hit Theaters, which will bring together Luke Hobbs and Deckard Shaw, played by Dwayne Johnson and Jason Statham. This feud turned public last month, when Therese posting a public message on one of Dwayne Johnson's Instagram posts, where it was speculated that he was signing his contract for the spin-off. Therese said that he only went public because The Rock apparently wasn't responding to Therese's text messages. Last week, it was made official, with the Fast and Furious spin-off release date set for July 26, 2019, shortly after the studio pushed Fast and Furious 9 by a year. Dwayne Johnson never publicly responded to any of Therese Gibson's messages, but he did release a video of him working out a few days ago which was accompanied by a shout-out to all of the big dogs like him working hard even on the weekends, but the video itself seemed to be a subtle jab at Therese, where he states that, big dogs eat, little crying puppies stay on the porch. He also released a brief teaser for the spin-off, which is only comprised of a few brief scenes from The Fate of the Furious, which was accompanied by the following message, where he seems to call out both Vin Diesel and Therese Gibson with the hashtag number candy asses need me to play. Daddy's gotta go back to work, Hobbs. Pumped to expand and build out the Fast and Furious universe in a cool exciting way with our at 7 bucks prod, writer-producer Chris Morgan, producer Hiram Garcia and lead producer and my bigger twin, Neil Moritz. Thank you Universal Studios for being tremendous partners who see the big picture and for coming to us years ago with this spin-off idea. Huge shout to my brother, Jason Statham for the trust in wanting to create and deliver something fresh and badass for the fans. I have a tremendous amount of respect for this franchise that I've enjoyed drop in blood and sweat in over the years, and my vision is to create greater opportunities for not only my fellow French Franks castmates, but for other amazing actors as well who want to be a part of something new and cool. I want to use my spin-off platform to create new characters that fans will ultimately love to have fun with in multiple chapters and platforms. Film, TV, digital, virtual reality etc. The more opportunities we can create the better for the fans. Smart business. Let's have some fun and to quote, Hobbs the boss, if you don't like it, we're happy to beat that ass like a Cherokee drum. Number Hobbs Number 7 Bucks Prods Number New Opportunities Number Candy Asses Need Me to Plea July 2019 When the teaser was released on Monday, Vin Diesel also responded to the spin-off, albeit in a much more diplomatic fashion, stating that it would be unfair to say it's anyone's fault. He then went on to state that the franchise needs some maintenance, hinting that he asked for more time to figure out where the franchise goes from here, thanking Universal Chairman Ron Meyer for giving him the time he needed. Vin Diesel was the subject of The Rock's legendary rant while filming The Fate of the Furious. Take a look at the video of Therese Gibson's interview 
where he calls The Rock selfish, courtesy of TMZ, along with the spin-off teaser, The Rock's possibly subtle response to Therese, and an old video from 2015, that Therese Gibson reposted, where The Rock completely trashes Therese's 2015 album Black Rose, that was said to be a joke.